at any given moment, your limbic system is filtering and sorting over 1 billion bits of sensory information in your internal and external environment. Each stimulus has its own meaning and association. Your brain's job is to discern the stimulus, categorize it in terms of safe or unsafe, and run the corresponding program. You don't have to think about it. Your brain is categorizing incoming information into already existing files for you. It then sends messages to the rest of your body, instructing it to react in a way it believes to be appropriate. In the person with MCS, this maladaptive protective mechanism becomes an unconscious hardwired response in the brain that causes the body to react to even the smallest amount of chemicals as potentially life-threatening. The initial trauma sets off a protective mechanism along with a five alarm stress response and an inflammatory cycle in the central nervous system that feeds back on itself. From here, survival messages are sent to the rest of the body that can impair your ability to function and alter your state of physical health. This interrupts the normal growth cycle of the systems in the body. Over time, this destructive cycle leads to limbic system priming, which basically means that you need less and less stimulus to produce the same reaction. This can also lead to limbic sensitization, which is the brain's inability to discriminate between stimulus and the spreading of sensitivities jumps from one stimulus to another. For example, you may have started with MCS, and maybe it just started with a sensitivity to one chemical and then spread to other chemicals. And then you developed fibromyalgia and food sensitivities. Or perhaps you started with chronic fatigue syndrome and then developed multiple chemical sensitivities. Any combination of these illnesses is common for people who suffer from a limbic system impairment. The expression of impairment in the limbic system can manifest on physical, mental, and emotional levels. Whether your symptoms are mild or severe, it commonly affects many systems of the body, including the central nervous system, cardiovascular, immune, reproductive, gastrointestinal, respiratory, musculoskeletal system, skin, eyes, ears, nose, and throat. The dynamic neural retraining system helps you interrupt the limbic system trauma loop while redirecting and restoring normal limbic system function. It changes the internal state of the brain and body from one of protection to one of growth. This change in neuronal patterns and firing eventually turns off the chronic stress alarm response and the inflammatory cycle, which in turn alters the messages being sent to the physiology of the body. When this cycle is turned off, the systems and organs of your body have the opportunity to start healing.